Hi, um, hello everyone. Wasn't planning to record today, but, uh, Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 official game trailer just came out, and I... <laughs> I have found things that maybe other people haven't. So I'm just going to be playing this and trying to figure out what the hell is going to be happening in Chapter 2. Let's begin. Okay, I'm pausing right here real quick. So, other people might think that this is actually Huggy after we throw him down in chapter one. However, if you look at the tiles, I don't think people would be making absolutely huge tiles for a, a factory. So, this is a toy, obviously. At least I hope it's a toy. I mean, there's also not blood surrounding him. That is another point to say that he is not the Huggy that we threw down the shaft since there was blood on the pipes. He would obviously still have blood. But there's no blood here, meaning it's a toy. That and what happens next isn't drag blood. Okay. Real quick. That... I thought was kissy, it is not. Wait, where's the music? Oh. Where do I even begin? Okay, so we get a a, a voice. And concerned that the only other voice that we've heard other than the tapes that sounds like this is Poppy. I'm pretty sure it is Poppy who's talking to us. And some of her words don't make sense. But at the same time, it's like, whoa. I'll just show you what I mean. You are perfect. That right there. We are perfect. What the hell does that mean? Perfect for what? What are you perfect for? Perfect to die? Perfect to live? What's going on here? Okay, here's an important note. Why are we missing a red hand? And why is there a green hand just sitting there? Like, what happens that we lose our red hand? Oh, here's a theory I was thinking about when I first saw... Uh, Ranbu play chapter one. Um, something I was thinking about was that only the red hand triggers Huggy to attack. Because it was only after we had gotten the red hand that he actually does try to kill us. Is this like a way for if we see him again that he doesn't try and kill us? Or what's going on? <laughs> Perfect to lose. Too perfect to lose. That and this scene right here where we're grappling up are... Well, grappling is completely new. Then again, we've never been able to try and grapple before. But too perfect to lose. Is this like a symbiote sort of situation where we're like the perfect host or something? I am just all sorts of confused right now. But. Too perfect to lose. That and the note that we first get in chapter chapter one. Are somewhat related. Because remember in the first note we get when we're invited back. It's a couple of words are spelled incorrectly. And it's written in, like, crayon. As if a child or something that wasn't human, possibly? Could it be these toys, like, reaching out for someone to come and help? Or something like that? <laughs> this is a creepy scene. 
But also, there's no blood. That's my main point. Also, if these tiles were life-size to the huggy that's being dragged, how frickin' big would this creature be? Okay, this is an interesting thing to note. So, the green hand, we attach to that and go to this, and it looks radioactive. Why the hell is there radioactivity in a factory? A toy factory at that. But at the same time, this is an interesting game mechanic. Because, like, it's very easy for someone in a panicked state of mind to forget that they need it and just run around trying to do stuff for game that they have a green hand instead of a red one. So that's interesting. You're in grave danger. Grave danger. What the hell are we in grave danger to? Also, that flower thing up there is terrifying. She's watching your every move. She. So we know that this character is, well, actually feminine. Like, in the teaser where it said mommy doesn't like guests. Spoiler alert, this is mommy! Also, this is obviously a play area, and what comes next? What is that? It looks like some sort of worm, but I don't know for sure. Also, we have our green hand, which means that this is sometime close to there. So what is that? <laughs> also, <laughs> okay, something I'm going to note. What are those? These things coming out of the walls. I got a better, like, freeze. So at didn't work. Right, I'm just going to tell you what I saw. These things coming out of the walls, they look like different colored versions of Huggy. Because the first one that showed up before, we tur before the screen turned to this one looked green. And this one looks pink. Be and now look, careful. you hit their heads. You hit their heads. And they go away. So you better be careful. And now here, our hand is radioactive, so we can obviously keep it for a long amount of time. And we're apparently running through some, like, underground place that's been recently dug out and hasn't, like, had time to be built over. Also, right there, we look to like swing over a cavern. What the heck? Yes. A new planet. This thing is apparently mommy. Why it's called mommy, I have no idea. Yeah, it looks terrifying. I don't like it. It's mouth moves. That is freaky as crap. And right there's where the trailer ends. I... This doesn't give us any, like, sort of clues as to what the heck we are to be expecting in chapter two, but that we can expect to get new me game mechanics, a new like hand that we can use to grapple or touch with radio or use radioactive. I my brain is scrambled right now, but yeah. This is absolutely insane, and I need your guys' help trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Because, I mean, obviously from the looks of it, Chapter 2 is going to be way longer than Chapter 1. Because, like, in Chapter 1, if you speed run, it'd probably take you about, like, I don't know, 20 or so minutes? This one, I... 
I have no idea. Because, like, we're not on one floor anymore. It looks like we're going to be going through levels. And something interesting to note, this has a sort of, like, Bendy and the Ink Machine vibe to it. Like, this entire game. Because, like, you're apparently a worker that worked here. And you left. But instead of 30 years, it's, like, 10 years. So, somewhat recent, somewhat not. But what's also interesting to note is that our character doesn't talk. Meaning that the game developers are actively putting us in this situation. Which is very interesting. But, at the same time, I have a feeling it... Okay, so... MatPat had a theory about the multiple versions of Huggy. And from that one scene, it looks like that there is going to be multiple versions of him or multiple versions of some sort of toy. What I'd also like to note is that Mommy was never seen at all in the first chapter. In the first chapter, we had no idea she even existed. Like, everyone thought... That because of the mommy reference, well, no one really said anything. But I'm pretty sure people thought that from mommy, they were like, oh, probably Kissy. But nope, some sort of weird spider thing. So yeah, that's a thing. Terrifying, but it's a thing. And, uh... I have no idea. Like, in Bendy, there were five chapters. But... In this one, I don't know how many chapters there might be. It might le be like Bendy, where it is like five, only five chapters. But it could also not be. It could be shorter, it could be longer. I mean, with what chapter 2's length looks like it might be, there might be short, uh, uh, not as many chapters. But at the same time, the game developers could just be like, Ha! Screw ya! I'm gonna give you, like, 20 chapters. That is going to be a lot. And in all honesty, uh, nothing that we expected. So, Mob Games, if one of the developers are watching this, freaking good-ass job on... Your game and the trailers, these are horrifying, but at the same time very interesting and can get your mind running. So, I'm very interested to see how things play out. Um, I'm going to need to check some of the other YouTubers who have been doing stuff on Poppy Playtime. Uh, see what they might think of this. If they've done a theory video, uh, we will see. Um, considering it is a Tuesday, I am glad I have this week off of school so that I can try and get a grip on things before I have to go back to learning actual stuff. But, yeah, that's about all I can think of. Um, along with theories as to what the heck is going on, I'd also like to know some of your guys' opinions on this trailer and how you might think of the actual game. Uh, those of you who have not seen the first chapter, I highly recommend uh, Rambu's uh, VOD of playing the game. Um, it was actually two games that he played, but he played probably Playtime first, and... I honestly cannot see anyone else's playthrough. I just love what he's done. Because he went through it. No deaths at all. And just one fell swoop. And I'm really interested to see if he's going to play the second chapter. Because honestly his commentary is amazing. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I think that's about it. Again, I had no plans to record today, but here we are. <laughs> uh, Mob Games has gotten you guys another video from me. Whether that's good or bad is up to you. Anyways, see you all in the comments or next video.
Take care, pups. Bye.